But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19 Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church. We thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you are available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. Hello. I'd like to cordially invite each of you to the fire ministry. We meet here every Thursday or most Thursdays after prayer. Fire stands for free indeed recovery experience. And yes, we do help those people who are recovering from certain addictions. But let me ask you a question. Are you saved? If you're saved, raise your hand. All of you with your hands raised are all recovering sin addicts. We were all addicted to some sin or another before salvation. So come fellowship with us every Thursday right here at Philadelphia Christian Church after prayer and be set on fire. Love y'all and see you Thursday. The Fire Ministry, reignite the fire on Thursdays this October after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. The Usher Ministry will be having a mandatory meeting this Saturday, October 5th at 9 a.m. This is also open to all who want to join the usher ministry as well. So come and be used to usher in the precious sheep of God. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here and the season starts this Friday night, October 4th at Moore Park, 250 Corette Drive, Lafayette. The men games will be held at 6.30 p.m. Kids and women's games will be held on Sunday evening starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. See you in the end zone or in the stands. There will be a HFL clinic for women and kids this afternoon at 4 p.m. at Acadiana Park, 1201 East Alexander Street. We do need some men to come on out and help teach the women of God the game of flag football. Guys, look, we definitely want you to stay connected with what's going on here at Philadelphia Christian Church. Staying connected is very, very simple. All you have to do is text at PhillyNet to 81010. That's right, at PhillyNet to 81010, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions. Also, if you want to be part of the prayer line, all you have to do is text at PrayNet to 81010. Again, at PrayNet to 81010, follow the on-screen instructions, and you'll definitely be connected. Guys, thank you so much. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimonies. Philly, I got the wood standing here with me. Listen, y'all, I have a question for the day. The question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Pastor Omar Tebow. Okay. Now, the second question is, how was that first experience once you came to Philly? First experience was great. I mean, the word was great as always. Uh, Fellowship was great, felt like home. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm originally from here, I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana, so got to see all my people, so it was, it was great. I got you, I got you. Well, look, y'all, I appreciate that. All right, no problem, man. Philly, Philly, I told you, I'm hitting y'all all morning. I'm standing next to my brother Tyron. Look, Tyron, I got the question of the day for you. The question of the day is, who first invited you to Philly? Man, I would say it's my mom's, man. She started coming about a year before I came. I was lost, man, still stuck in the streets, and she just kind of kept pushing it on me, kept pushing it on me. And after it dwelled on me, man, I said, let me come check it out. And just after hearing this word, man, it was life-changing. And it just opened my eyes to so much, and that's my brother, man. He, he changed things for me tremendously, bro. I got you. So I have another question for you. When you decided to come for the first time, what was that first experience like? Life changing, life changing. I felt like I was living wrong, man. I wasn't, I wasn't doing things right. 
my intentions wasn't pure and just it really just opened my eyes to everything honestly and man I could remember like you yesterday it changed everything for me man I got you I got you well I appreciate the time man Philly y'all say what's up to brother Blaine what's up brother Blaine I got you listen I got the question of the day for you and the question of the day is who is the first person to invite you to Philly First person to invite me to Philly is my sister Keisha. She sent me on a Bible study one Wednesday. Well, I'm sorry, Tuesday. And ever since that, man, my life been changed ever since that day. I got you. I got one more question for you. When you first stepped into Philly, what was that experience like? Amazing, amazing. Man, spirit was moving all over me. Tears falling through my eyes. It was just amazing feeling. The best part about it, Pastor Omar used to stand by the door. Shake everybody's hand. I told him my name one time. I ain't came back in two weeks. Next day you see me, he knew my name. That man touched me, man. I, I love that, brother. That's what's up. Well, there y'all have it, Philip. Brother Blaine. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Love you. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Happy birthday to Dr. Elizabeth Chavis. Her husband, Kevin, says that he praises God for every day with you. Happy birthday. Congratulations to Brother Gabriel Joseph for scoring a 28 on his September ACT. He also celebrates his 18th birthday on this Friday, October 4th. Happy birthday, Gabriel, from your loving family, Deacon Brent, Sister Shirley, Faith, and Christian Joseph. Congratulations. Let's congratulate Brother Harold and Sister Grace Wilts on their 8th year anniversary today. Happy anniversary. Let's also give a happy birthday to Kowalski Jenkins, whose birthday is today. He says he will definitely be in the house of the Lord. Happy birthday, Kowalski. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. It's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stay to your feet. It's worship time. 